Hi, I am Laura Young, Vice President of Philanthropy at the Maine Community Foundation. And I'm gonna quickly share with you why you might wanna set up a donor advised fund at the Maine Community Foundation and also show you a cool giving together platform that we have that allows you to review proposals that we have gotten from nonprofit organizations around the state. So why a donor advised fund at the Maine Community Foundation? First of all, we have staff all over the state. So we know Maine, we know the nonprofits, we work with donors to help donors with their grant making. Donors love the fact that they are paying fees, administrative fees to a Maine nonprofit they're buying local and they're working with a nonprofit that is strengthening Maine. If you want, you can meet other donors. We have gatherings with other donors or you could be anonymous. We are a 501c3 organization. So there's tax savings in contributing to a nonprofit organization and also your fund will be invested with others. So it grows tax free. And it's a great way to plan your legacy. You can set up your fund and have your kids involved, your grandchildren, or leave a legacy for a part of the state or an issue area. So many options. The options are endless. Just talk with us. We can uh, help you think through how this fund turns into something permanent later on. It's a great way to work with your kids and just talk about, or your grandchildren, to talk about what's important to you, what's important to them have them think about philanthropy. And it's fun and easy. It's a one page agreement. It takes a day and we could um, set it up with you. And then the fun part is let me share with you our Giving Together platform. So this is the Maine Community Foundation homepage. And let's assume you have your own donor advised fund. So up here at the top right corner, you see log in. And here it's fund connection for Maine CF's donors and fund holders. So you click log here and you will be able to use your email address and your own password here to log in to see all kinds of reports. This shows you the grants that you've made, the quarterly fund statement on your fund. Here you can recommend a grant to whatever nonprofit you want. It could be a nonprofit in another state, as long as it's a 501c3, you can make a grant and you can decide to be anonymous or not with each of your grants. And this is the Giving Together platform I was telling you about. This is where we put up the proposals that we receive from the nonprofits all around the state. And as a donor, you'll be able to select by county, select by interest area. So let's select Hancock County and Arts, Culture, and Humanities. So that pulls up all the proposals that we have within Hancock County in this issue area. So you can see what they've requested from us whether it's been funded or not, a little description of the proposal. And let's pull up one of them where you can actually see the proposal. This one is 24 pages. So this is what's going to the grant making committee for them to review. And it's all kinds of financial information, their project budget, what they're looking to accomplish, who's involved. So you can look at this information. And then if you really like it, you can decide to fund it from here. So click right here, fund proposal. And it takes you to a form already filled out where you decide how much you want to grant. So let's say I want to grant $2,000. It already has the purpose. And right here, if you want to be anonymous, you just click issue grant anonymously. And you can also request that the organization submit a report for any grants of 5,000 or more. You can check this off and we have staff people who will follow up a year after the grant and ask for a report and we'll send it to you. And any thank you letters that come in, we'll share those with you as well. So I hope that was helpful.
would love to talk with you if you have any questions. There's certainly much more to talk about, but thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And please give us a call. Happy to connect you with any other staff members around the state or who have a focus on specific interest areas that you're interested in. Thank you.